we're going to go ahead and lift this thing out of the mold today. We kind of knew this day was coming, but I didn't know for sure we would do it today, but the weather just kind of makes it so. So I've got some good help and we're going to make the most of it. But I also thought y'all might like this view. I've got a big old ladder. Y'all check this out, man. This is kind of cool to be able to see the boat from this perspective. We're up here at the top of the shop right now, kind of looking down. Got that forward most panel in there. Got this cable and a big pulley. Got a winch right over there. Pretty exciting stuff, y'all. I'm not even gonna lie. This was kind of one of those things I've been having a little bit of anticipation about. It's exciting, but it's also nerve wracking at the same time. So we're gonna get to video some of this today. We're gonna start the process here in a little bit. Woo. Oh, all right, y'all. We have got the uh, chain chains hooked up. We've trimmed these edges right around the flange of the mold. You can see that is the actual boat. That is the mold. And then we just took an air fitting when I was building this thing, we put a hose and a fitting on the bottom so that we could relieve air pressure. If it had like a vacuum leak, I don't know if y'all, hope y'all can see that little hose right there. And we just relaxed that. We put a little lifting pressure on it and it just started creaking, creaking and popping. It's like it had a vacuum lock. It's like when you have two five gallon buckets stuck together. I'm gonna lift up on the winch a little bit with it and just see. You can hear it creaking and groaning right now. Hear that? This thing could come up just, I think we just put a little pressure on it. Sometimes with these molds you can, the corners are what will usually stick. All right y'all, I'm gonna take this air nozzle and this hose and let's just listen and see. You can hear it. That's what it sounds like when it starts lifting. We don't want to put too much pressure. Can y'all hear it creaking? Is it moving up on the edges at all? We're just going to take our time. I'm not going to rush it. Yeah, it's off, off, it's off, off that corner. Yeah, Look right under there. You can see. exciting yeah, it is. all right we can see the mold there y'all look at that we got the boat the hull coming up off the mold it just moved it should it'll come down I'll tell you what we'll just lift a little bit on the front a little bit on the back we'll lift a little bit zoom in on that leg i'm gonna see if it Logan. Logan was the cameraman there, y'all. Check it out. We are separated all the way around the corners. Now the hull should be loose from the mold. You can see the orange mold all the way around. Holy smokes. That's a big deal. I've been under a lot of stress today, y'all. This thing has been such a big deal. So cool to see this view here. You can see the actual boat, the actual boat, the actual mold. That handle is really loose back there, Mark. That's what I. Well, I can tell you what. Go ahead and see the handle. Like you know, go ahead and bump it up. Just come up, come up a little bit, a little bit more. 
Okay, stop right there. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm gonna come here to the front and we're gonna pick up a little. You wanna pick it up evenly. You don't wanna pick up too much. Okay, that's enough. That's good. That's good. Whoa, 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 whoa. Let me just look at it for a minute. There it is, y'all. The first glimpse of the hull separated from the mold. All right, y'all, we're gonna come up just a little bit at a time. Just come up a little bit there, Marky Mark. Here we go, y'all. I'm coming up. Let's get a look. Look, see. Looky, looky. Wow, all right, let's just hold, let's just hold right there for a second, Mark. Wow, there it is, y'all. Man, man. Man, oh man. <whistles> Big deal, y'all. Coming up, coming up. Let's catch up. Watch where you are at the top. I'm watching it. Oh, you're high enough, Mark. Mark, you're high enough. Think. You think you're high enough? Come up just a touch. Reach of it. Oh, good, 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 good. good. Keep video in there, bud. We're just gonna, I just want to get it lower. I just let's just get it lower, and then we'll we'll figure it out. Don't stop. There she is. Holy smokes, man. Woo-wee! Look at there, there she is. She's gorgeous. She's, she's gorgeous. I think, I think it's right. Like, I think it's right, right. I think it's just right, right. Oh, man. Ah, I am pretty pleased. That is a, a pretty slick whip right there, man. Woo! Thank you, Marky Mark. Y'all, that's my my best boat building buddy, and my other best building boat building. <laughs> uh, an old one and a young one. I'm stuck in the middle. Oh my gosh, y'all! About had a heart attack just then. I hope y'all enjoyed that. So there she is. That is about five years of crazy hard work. I really like that gray. I'm gonna call that stealth gray. That's actually a custom color, y'all. I blended that, you know, out of gray and black. It wasn't a color that was readily available. Wow, that is super exciting to see this thing. And there she is. There's the mold. There's the mold. Wow. I haven't seen that in a minute. Man, that thing looks good too. Holy smokes. She is pretty. Wow. Man. Mark, Mark says, I'm getting ready to build another one. I'm not ready to build another one anytime soon, y'all. I want to go fishing. I just want to go fishing. I am, I am ready to do some fun stuff. All right, there, there she is. Fantastic, fantastic, fantastic. I am pretty pleased. That is really the first look I have seen at, of this boat in real, real form, life size. She's still kind of hanging off the ground, but I really don't think I see anything I'm, un I don't see anything I'm unhappy with 
at the moment. There's the entry. She looks good. So it's like 5.30, 5.45. It has been a super, super long day. It's just been exhausting. I am just mentally drained, but super excited. There she is. We've got the new Buskins Bay 2900 sitting on the shop floor. We've got the Kenner rolled back into the shop. There's the Kenner, big old Yamaha 250. We've actually rolled the mold that the boat came out of back out in the next section of the shop. And that's gonna be super cold tomorrow. We got a big old cold front coming and it's not gonna be a good day for fiberglassing or painting or anything like that. But it's gonna be a really, really good day for us to start working on trimming this edge, this excess glass, so that we can make it kind of look like, like this all the way around, nice clean edge. We'll get ready to put a big heavy duty rub rail on there. There she is, y'all. What a, what a view. How exciting is that? That's been um, five years in the making, y'all. So I'm just uh, very excited. Lots of emotion today. It's kind of been one of those days where I didn't really know. We knew this was coming up, but my brother Mark had a day off today because the weather was so bad he couldn't work on his big boat down at the boat yard. And I'm super appreciative of that. And I'm pre super appreciative of y'all. Uh, the channel's been growing. It's all because of you guys. It means a lot to me. Uh, if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, that really encourages me. It doesn't cost you guys a dime, and it's something that really, really helps the channel out. And, and if you guys want to see more of this kind of content, it helps me do that. So once again, y'all, it's Captain Joe here with Island Marine Charters down in Gulf Shores, Alabama. And as always, we will catch you guys next time out.